question for you. When I say epic love story, what or who comes to mind? Maybe Romeo and Juliet, Mark Anthony and Cleopatra, Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy, Anna and Kristoff, Beauty and the Beast, Ron and Hermione. I guess it depends on the books you read or the movies you watch, but love stories are everywhere you look. The world is fascinated by love stories. From following the lives of celebrities to reading novels or watching the latest rom-com, there's just something about a good love story that brings a smile to your face. Well, unless you're Romeo and Juliet, of course, but I, I, never mind. This year, we want to take the kids on a journey through the most epic love story of all time, the Bible. Because we think when people encounter the amazing love of God, they can't help but show love to the world around them. We define love like this, showing others how much they matter to you. Let's talk about what the writers of the Bible have to say about love, starting with our memory verse for the month, 1 John 4.10. Here is what love is. It is not that we loved God, it is that He loved us and sent His Son to give His life to pay for our sins. Love starts and ends with God. Love has always been the point of how God has interacted with the world from creation through sending Jesus to rescue us. God's love has always been on display. And if you want to learn about God and the love God has for you, the best place to start is the Bible. We might know that after years of experience, but kids are just discovering why the Bible is so important. That's why we're taking the first week of the month to explain how the Bible is God's story of love to the world and what it means for how we should live our lives focused on love. In the Bible, we find 66 different books written and compiled by people who had a close relationship with God, and they wrote down what they experienced so others could know God's love too. Jesus reminds us in Matthew 22 that everything written in the Bible hangs on love. Bottom line, love God by loving others. If you've ever picked up a Bible and started reading from the beginning, you know it doesn't take long to discover why love is so important. So for week two, we head back to the beginning in Genesis chapter one. God created a magnificent paradise and created people, Adam and Eve, to live in it, enjoy it, and cultivate it. Adam and Eve had a perfect relationship with God, a relationship created in love and care for each other and all that God had made. Bottom line, God made us to take care of each other. In week three, we see that although Adam and Eve had an unbroken loving relationship with God, ultimately they decided not to trust God's plan. God gave them one simple rule to obey, don't eat from that tree. They decided to break the one rule, and when they did, it changed the course of history. Thankfully, God didn't give up on them. God loved them and made a way to continue a relationship with them. Bottom line, God loves us, no matter what. We wrap up our month with another significant moment in God's one big story. God asks someone to make a leap of faith, a giant leap of faith, and be a catalyst of love to the entire world. God promised Abraham that his descendants would become a great nation that would show love to the world. God tells Abraham to pack up his family and move. Abraham wasn't exactly sure how things would all play out, but he followed God and trusted that God would provide. Today, God continues to show love to the world through us. Bottom line, God has a plan to show love to the world. This month, we pray that kids see how love is at the center of God's one big story. God has loved us since the very beginning. God continues to love us and wants us to show that love to the world around us. We get to be a part of God's epic love story to the world. How will you show God's love to the people in your world?